Here's Don Rico. This is Don Rico. This is Lot 2. So they just came out with the new Lot 2 Don Rico. Look at those bottles, huh? They're nice. Sent to me by Rick Olivo, one of the owners of this brand. And I did a review on little minis that they sent way in the beginning when they first came out. Nobody ever heard of them. And they knew I liked it. So they sent me bottles of Lot 2. Now, Lot 2 is a little different. This is coming out of NOM 1608 in that central area of Jalisco down in Mexico. And this is Don Rico 40 ABV. So this is Lot 2. This is the next batch, okay? So what they did was they used seven plus year agaves instead of six year agaves. That's the first difference with these from the Lot 1s. But the big difference is the Añejo for Lot 2. Let's get into these things right here. So we got the new Lot 2s. We're going to pop them right here on camera. Nice synthetic cork. It's got a nice nose. We're going to open them and then we're going to uh, let the uh, aged ones sit and open while we cook a little bit. So this brand, I liked it a lot. Me and Gregory tried it when it first came out. We were probably one of the first to do a review. We used little samples. And this time, Rick said, you got to try my lot too, especially this Añejo. Now, you know, as I said, they're, um, the agaves are aged longer this time. So he felt there was going to be more uh, sweetness, that the, the bricks level was higher, he said. So we're going to uh, get into this now, and we're going to see uh, if he's right. Uh, I gave good scores. Matter of fact, on the last time on the lot ones, I gave it 87 for the Blanco. I gave it 85 for the Repo and 88. I remember I like these two the best. And let's see, you know, I'll try to remember and I'll see if I think these are any higher. But you're going to like these. You should go to Total Wine. In Texas, Total Wine, the Blanco's only 42 bucks. This guy's 50 and the uh, Añejo, which is now a special Añejo, uh, particularly, you know, $74. That's a pretty good price. Uh, it's in a few totals in California. They want to be moving over to spec soon and twin liquors. And their plan is to expand to Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico uh, real soon. And then it's going to go to Illinois, New York, Florida by the end of the year. Oh, it's got a nice sweetness to it. A little bit of uh, anise, some mint, citrus for sure, light pepper, maybe a pinch of cinnamon, but to cook the gobbies right there, I like this a lot. This is nice. This has got a nice nose. I'd be giving it around the same thing uh, for the nose anyway, as I did the first time. Ooh, nice. That's nice taste, too. Definitely the sweetness is there. You know, these are all added to free. I'm going to tell you about that. This has got the uh, herbalness a little bit. Agnès, mint, cooked agave. Some fruit. This is nice. This is really nice. A little alcohol at the end. This is really good. Um, on this um, Blanco, they did a nice job, and I think he's right. It does um, taste really sweet, so I think maybe it has got a little bit more uh, sweetness to it than a lot one. But yeah, you know, I'm going to stick with my uh, 87 on this. It's going to be coming around the country now. You're going to see the Don Rico, okay? Uh, really clean. Now, the way they make this is they use split region, okay? So another brand, a couple brands do this now. They use the agaves from the Valley and the Los Altos area. And they're in central Jalisco. So they're getting them from both areas, and they like that. They purposely do that. They say it, you know, brings the best out of both regions, the agave uh, presence. And um, it is nice, I have to say. It's a really unique and a nice flavor. You know, it really is. So uh, it's pretty sweet. So you know what? The way they make this is, besides the split agave regions, they use stone brick oven. They use roller maceration, stainless steel, open air, without fibers. They have a proprietary yeast that they use. They double the steel on stainless steel with a copper coil, deep well water, and added it free from Tequila Matchmaker. All right, so it's on their app as such. So now we're going to get on to the Reposado. The Reposado, again, same as the Lot 1, it's uh, aged for arrested for three months in used American white oak whiskey barrels. This is nice. It's reminiscent of the first lot. It's got that spice, some sweet cooked agave, Caramel, just a little bit. Vanilla, just a little bit. Fruit. 
nice it's creamy so it's light you know I mean it's only three months in uh, a barrel so that's pretty good it's almost near the minimum it's got a nice smell it's got the spices for sure like barrel spices in there so maybe some floral a little bit a little vanilla like a creaminess going on nice and light and clean in the nose a little caramel vanilla sweet cooked agave for sure some pepper it's floral it's got the spices so yeah this is a nice easy drinking light reposado got the spices that pop out at me nice and sweet I like it it's really nice it's got a clean taste to it nice nice and uh, editor free you know you can you don't taste anything funky going on whatsoever so you know I gave this last time I gave it the 85 and um, I'm gonna stick with the 85 on this okay I definitely like the Blanco better that's just me now it's time to get on to this bad boy look at the richness on this color this is the new one Yeho lot too which is different still has the three months aging in American white oak bourbon barrels though and then 17 months in used French oak and that's the Cabernet barrels the wine barrels and you could see the richness in the wine oh it's gonna be great so this is a total of 20 months double barrel that, that's a pretty cool thing and you know what look at that price $74 that's pretty cheap for an Añejo that's got that kind of stuff going on alright give this a try right now oh ooh, this is nice Oh, wow, this is almost coming in like an extra on Yeho in a lot of ways. I guess it's because of the way those two barrels are. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. First of all, getting a lot of sweetness and getting a lot of spice. Not a lot of caramel and vanilla, and I like that. It's got like a raisin plum thing going on. It's floral. It's fragrant. Maybe a little cherry. Oh, man, the oak is there. The spice is really nice and that plum and the, and the fruit. This has really, really got a beautiful nose. Oh my goodness. This is a really nice, rich Añejo. You could tell there's been wine, you know, some wine involved here. You really can. It's, it's part of the presence here. Not a nice balance though. He's right about the balance. You know, it's not, it's not like, you know, bourbon. And it's not like all wine. It's just right there you know they're married together and and it's in a good way it's a good marriage you know whoo this is really nice maybe some leather even you know oh man chocolate maybe this is really nice mmm mmm ah um, oh this is flavorful oh it's like I what did I give the first batch I gave it a uh, 88 this is at least 89 this is better this is better. The prices are going to stay the same as lot one, even for more ripe agaves and way more aging on the Añejo. Imagine that. So the prices are going to stay the same. That's cool. And this brand is going places. They got ideas. You Wait till you hear some of the stuff they got cooking up, okay? So they purchased a copper still for the distillery at NOM 1608. They purchased it. So Don Rico owns that. I think they're the only ones that's going to use that. And all the stuff going forward is going to be with a full copper still. Okay, that's one thing. It's distillery bought a Tahona. Okay, Don Rico was, uh, you know, a big part of that. And they're going to use that Tahona on a new high-proof Blanco. That's right, baby. And we're talking about 48 ABV, they're thinking. They may even use wooden fermentation. So, you know, you're going to be talking about copper pot stills, Tahona, possibly wooden fermentation, high-proof 48 ABV. I'm going to be looking forward for that Blanco for sure. And on top of that, they're coming out with an extra Añejo, probably 40 ABV, but they're not sure yet. And it's going to be 100% aged in sherry barrels. Let me tell you, they're doing some creative stuff down there, and that's going to be five years extra Añejo. So they got some good stuff planned. They really do, I have to say. This is a clean brand. Verified by TMM, which is the only place you really want to listen to. This is Don Rico Lot 2. And keep your eyes open for all the stuff they got coming in the future. Lou Agave from Long Island Lou Tequila. Don Rico.